Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to play Here With Me by David. Uh, and it's the acoustic version. So I've already made the lesson on the uh, studio version, both on the guitar as well as on the ukulele. And uh, there's like a couple of versions which are made of the song. Now this is the acoustic version. Uh, so this one is based a lot more on the triad chords, I'll say. So firstly, it's in the standard singing. Uh, we don't have a capo, so Let's quickly hop into the chord shapes. We really have a couple of chord shapes going throughout the whole song. We have E major, open second second, first open open. Then we have a E major seven, mute open second, first second open. Then we have a G sharp major chord, I bar the whole fourth fret, fifth fret on G string, sixth fret on A and D. And then I have this chord shape, which is a C sharp minor, I bar the fourth fret, I have fifth fret on the B string, sixth fret on D and G. If I bring this C a whole step down, or you can say two frets down, it's a B minor. So mute two four four three two. Then I'll play the B major chord like this. I have D nine, eight on G, seven on B. That's it. And then this E major seven chord, which is A seven, D nine, eight on G, and nine on B. Right. So grab a plectrum. Now let's get ready with the main riff which we have. We strum the E major chord once, then I hit the open high E string, then I go to G sharp major, strum the chord, hit the high E string, then I strum the C sharp minor chord, hit the high E string, and then go to the B minor chord. What I'll do for the B minor chord is I'll remove my pinky, so my pinky is now free, and when I do the dance stroke, I'll also do a hammer on from 2 to 4 on the high E string simultaneously. So it looks like this. So we got. Then I'll hit high E string second fret. So we got. Then I'll go to A major seven chord. I'll strum the chord once. I'll play E B. Then I'll play this chord tree. It's a variation. I'll call it like a. It's not a proper augmented chord, but what I'm doing is I'm basically having like an A minor sheep, 5th fret on D, G, B, E and then I put my middle finger on the 6th fret of the D string to get that A flat bass or G sharp so I'll strum the chord once and after that I'll go to the B major chord over here what I'll do is simply strum the B major chord at the beginning then I'll play 9 on B 10 on B high E string 7th fret and now on the E major 7th chord I'll do this so what I did is I keep my index finger bar on the seventh fret when I'm playing the E major seven chord. So I try to do a hammer on from seven to nine on the B string when I strum the chord. So see that? So now lift it up. It will be like an E major seven sus two, and go for an up stroke. I'm mainly focusing on the B and G string. So we have so the first part sounds like this. Now the second part, so this was part one, second part is pretty same, we'll start off in the exact same way, but instead of just plucking the high E string, this time we'll pluck the E and the B string, so it will be down, up, up. See that, so, same for G sharp, then same for C sharp minor, then for the B minor it goes a bit different. What I'll do over here, I'll do the same hammer on from 2 to 4 on the high E string while strumming. Then I'll hit 2nd fret on the high E string. But after that, I'll play 5th fret on the B string. Then again, 2nd fret on the high E string. So, two extra notes 5th fret on the B string. And then 2nd fret on the high E string. So, we got. Then I'll strum A major 7 chord. Play E B. Then go to that A minor with G sharp on the bass. And then back to the same thing, B major chord. E major 7, E major 7 sus 2. So that's the second part. Let me play it one more time.
after the whole thing together just pause the video practice this is definitely really very easy it's not hard if you can play bar chords i do think you can uh learn the song like on a 10 minutes so uh one two three four As a whole song, I hope the video helps you out. If you have any doubt regarding any parts of this song, please let me know. And for more lessons like this, be sure to subscribe. Bye.